So first we're going to go take a look uh, at Cortana settings in case you hadn't before. Plus there's a setting you have to change. But we're going to go to the gear. I'm going to click on it. And uh, you have to you know, do your microphone if you haven't already. Good idea to go through all that. And then let it respond to Hey Cortana. You have to have that. Here's one here. Keep my device from sleeping. So this is what you need to check to make sure that even if it's in uh, sleep mode or prevent it from being in sleep mode, that it will respond to you. There's other things here. Even with your locked screen is locked, it'll respond as well. So there's other settings down here that you can do as far as uh, Cortana. Take a look at those. But those are the ones you need to have it operate with these new modes. Now Cortana operates exactly like it did in the previous version and operates in a small corner of the screen. But if you've been idle for more than 30 seconds, it'll go to full screen mode. So let's take a look. Hey Cortana. What's the weather like? Right now, it's 67 and partly sunny. So now I'm going to wait about 30 seconds. I'm going to shorten it here, but I'm going to wait about 30 seconds and uh, ask the command again. Hey Cortana. What's the weather like? Right now, it's 67 and partly sunny. As you can see, there's a really nice uh, large screen interface uh, Cortana pops up with, and also the display of the information is also in full uh, widescreen mode. According to the release notes, Cortana is supposed to be able to lock or even shut down your PC. However, uh, as of the last release, it still uh, cannot uh, shut down your PC. But hopefully, when the update is released, it will do it. Hey Cortana, lock the computer. Locking your computer. So as you can see, uh, it automatically locked it and put up whatever screen you have there for your lock screen. And all you can do is press the keys and log in. So let's try to shut down. Hey Cortana, shut down computer. Sorry. I can't do this for you right now. Check back again after future updates. So as you can see, uh, that feature has not been implemented even though they said it has, but hopefully it will very shortly. So here are some of the commands you can use. You can play artist, track, title. Uh, you can use the app name. You can uh, select a type of music like jazz or whatever. You can actually uh, tune into a radio station number. So let's try a couple of these on Cortana and see how they work. Hey Cortana, play Michael Bublé. And now, songs by Michael Bublé. Now you'll notice that it used the default groove player, but you can actually specify an app instead. Hey Cortana, play smooth jazz on iHeartRadio. Queuing up a station for smooth jazz music on iHeart. So now we're going to try the uh, same thing with a radio station. Hey Cortana. Play 15.50 a.m. on iHeartRadio. Queuing up 15.50 a.m. on iHeartRadio. Here's Fox Sports 1550. Now I can do this anytime, not just on music, but it's apropos here. If I want to change the volume, all I got to do is tell it. By looking in the lower right corner, you'll see I'll start out at 33% volume and it'll go up to 66%. Hey Cortana, volume up. There you have it, the new full screen mode and uh, some other command updates for Cortana, all included with a new Windows Creator update.